Hello, Internet! I'm Hamster Bob. And I'm Kimothy. And I'm exaggerating, but it's really cold. <laughs> and uh, you guys are watching another unboxing video. I've got something to open here for you, and uh, a letter and some other P.O. Box stuff, plus a lot of news. I promised them, like, over a week ago, I would uh, let them know why I was missing from the comments for such a long time and what all was going on. And I haven't gotten a chance to do and that. And I'm just here. Well, because we have a package to open for that, and oh, that'll be fun. Um, but uh, catch you guys up to speed. I've been very busy. First thing that happened is my parents were out of town for over a week, and I had to stay over at their house pretty much twenty four seven. Watch the adorable puppies. Watch their puppies. Um, I mean, upside to that, I brought my computer over and got to play a lot of uh, Witcher three and Witcher two. I moved back to play Witcher two. A lot of fun, but um, I, got I, puppers. I don't even have a. Uh, a wireless network card in my computer. I it's hardwired, uh, so I couldn't even connect to the internet. I physically could not do anything <laughs> if I tried. So sorry about that week. And then after that, um, everything was getting even more hectic. I had a contract job to do with the drone, which Yay. is cool. Um, I hope it works out okay because the event had some issues, uh, weather problems, um, turnout scheduling wasn't great. So. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully it turns out good, because uh, we really need funds right now. It's the, the cold thing. Um, our furnace went out, our AC needs to be replaced, and there was a CO2 leak in the basement right next to where I make and so work on my drone. So any of his videos seemed a little crazier than usual, it's because I was high on CO2. I don't think you get high on CO2. You get die on CO2. Die on yeah, CO2. You, you die on CO2. That's what happens. <laughs> so, uh... That didn't happen. The gas is off. Uh, downside of that is I'm freezing. <laughs> so especially since you know this is Cincinnati, and like a week ago we were at 90 degrees, and now we're right. down to 40 degrees. 40 and 50. Uh, in Fahrenheit. So we're talking about. I don't know Fahrenheit, where. Fahrenheit. Yeah. Because I, I remember talking to uh, Cal in Ireland. Uh, he's from the Underdog 2020. I guess you guys watch other shiny Pokemon videos, and I had to explain to him what it's like living in Cincinnati because the weather will shift. There's no happy medium ever. It's either blazingly hot and you're sweating and you're miserable, and then in a day, I'm not kidding, there is no good time in the middle. In a single day, it will be freezing. <laughs> and now it's freezing. That's what your dad was just saying. He was doing some housework outside in 90 degree yeah. weather. It was 90 and... in the morning and then it was uh, 50 at night. Yeah. And I don't By mean night like finished. in the middle of the night. I mean like a few hours uh, later. Like six o'clock. So <laughs> It's not fun, and our furnace decided to go out at the worst time. Well, I mean, technically, we it, thought we were gonna it be should okay. have been turned off earlier because of the gas problem. Right. But, oh, well. I didn't notice the all, did you? <laughs> so, uh, in the meantime as well, um, the, are you still, I've been able to at least get videos up daily. So far, I've not failed that yet. That has worked. Um, I'm not sure about continuing more Super Mario Party. I know you guys have two videos of it, one full game and one of the river rafting side mission thing. Um, I might throw in a couple different videos of, like, uh, uh, I'm thinking of, like, doing another Let's Be Honest and maybe a Mario Figure Arts review, because I was ma yes. I managed to get that guy in. Uh, we were at a flea market. We don't really have any money. In fact, our bank account is in the red flashing lights. What is wrong with you people? Why don't you have any money? <gasps> um, but, uh, yeah, hopefully after that point, because in November, I have Pokemon Collections being moved over to Mondays which is opening up Thursday for Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. It's going to move over. Um, and then we're open for Let's Go Eevee. No, Let's Go <laughs> Eevee is starting oh in November. Uh, that comes out on the 16th. I'm looking to the right because that's where my, my whiteboard schedule is, and I can see where I'm everything's going out. I'm excited to do that along with you. We never got to play a Pokemon game together. And she also has never played a Generation 1 Pokemon I have game. not. So that's no red, blue, yellow, fire red, leaf green, none of them. Mm -mm. So this will be fun. Very fun. Uh, especially because it's a two-player thing. It's That's so cool. <laughs> um, and Pokemon are following you. There's so much. I'm so excited about that I'm game. But about um, anyway, uh, in this huge gap of me not being able to talk to you guys, I've had a couple Q Charm games come in just to let you guys know if you're watching this and you're like wondering where your thing is. And you didn't get a video. Um, I made one for Cooper. Uh, I know uh, Cooper had to send in another uh, platinum version because we had some issues in the past. So uh, Cooper, just in case you didn't get my email or anything, your game is in the mail. It's coming back to you. I have another one here from uh, Stephanie. This is also already done, sent back in the mail. I just saved the letter because I never got a chance to read this. So <clears throat> finally, here we go. Hi, Alex. I'm so excited to finally be sending in my games to get Q-Charmed. It was plural. Shoot, she had more than one. 
I yeah, she did. It was a while ago. I don't even remember. She did have more than one. I've been in such a rush lately, running around trying to get stuff done, so I don't even remember. Uh, but thank you already. Uh, I've loved watching both the HeartGold and Platinum series on YouTube. I had kind of gotten away from playing Pokemon and other video games in recent years due to bullying, but watching your videos and seeing how happy you are about them made me comfortable enough to get back into it, so thank you. You know, I feel the same way. That happened to me in high school, because everybody hated, they were like, like, if you liked Pokemon, you weren't cool at all. I never tried to be cool. I was, I was <laughs> never even, con I wasn't even accidentally considered to be in that group. But it didn't help that I liked Pokemon. We had like an underground manga trade at my school. No. So <laughs> I was definitely part of that group, not the cool group. I wasn't even in on that. I, I wasn't even cool enough to be in the underground manga trade <laughs> that, that you're talking. No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't even in there. And you know, my my friends were all those weird people who'd get like the Naruto headbands and run yeah. around like at the work. Yeah. Thank you again, Alex. I look forward to playing these awesome games and getting loads of neat shinies. I'll name a cool Pokemon after you. How about a Flood Soul? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> no. She does you. <laughs> yeah, she does. <laughs> it's great when they actually know me and they know what, what buttons to push. <laughs> yeah. Make it a Shuckle. Yeah, Shuckle's great. <laughs> uh, and cheers, Stephanie. So, thank you, Stephanie. Hopefully, you, you probably already have your games by now by the time I made this I video and so. it got up. I think so, you sent that yeah, I two hope or that three weeks ago. not enough people get back to me and tell me, like, hey, the games arrived okay. Thanks so much. It's really cool. I'm real excited to play them. <laughs> Nothing. I don't really hear back. So, whenever I hear back from someone, I'm like, oh, I'm so glad to hear that it's okay. <laughs> Anymore, we have deliver, if you're honestly wondering. Uh, we usually get tracking yeah, numbers. Yeah, there's on everything always that gets tracking. Out. So, if so, I'm curious, I, we know it gets there. Right. But like, I'll go I back and I'll check. I just don't hear back from anyone. The only ones we can't check are the ones that have to go through customs. Yeah, right. So, um, because of all the craziness going on right now, I'm very excited that uh, today in the mail, uh, in the P.O. box, uh, actually, Kim went. I, I wasn't able to go this time. I was helping... I'm the relative that does all the computer jobs when things go awry Although in the really family. he really doesn't know much about... Computer. I Google the problem. I can take my computer apart and put it back together, ma'am. Yeah, but you have essentially a base understanding that old people just don't. <laughs> Hence, I'm the one guy in the family <laughs> who, when something goes wrong with the computers, they call me. Which is why I had to stay over and uh, fix an email problem. Which, gotta admit, that was a weird that email was problem. That was weird. It, somehow, just to like, because I brought it up, somehow, Every single sender and every single domain ever got added to my dad's email block list. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how. You couldn't have even manually done that, but anyway, real excited because of so many nonsense, annoying things like the furnace and the freezing cold, and we have nobody, and we're in the red, He's and it's terrible. Right, like about the yeah. cold thing. Yeah, the cold's not fun. I don't. Uh, well, here. Super grumpy, like. <laughs> I've complained before that my office where I film, because it's the opposite corner of the house from where the furnace and the AC unit is, so if it's really hot, it's gonna be hot in my room, even if that thing's on full blast. If it's really cold outside, it's gonna be freezing in here, regardless of how warm it is out in the rest of the house. So it's always a problem in this room, but that might have actually been the fact that the AC was old and bad and wasn't actually functioning right. <laughs> right. So, so hopefully when we get a new hopefully one. Hopefully a new one, I won't have that problem. Maybe the nose itch will go away too, because I attribute no, that to the heat. No, that's a camera thing. We've no, it's not the camera. I think it's my <laughs> lamp. Like, if you shine a light in your face, because I have a light shining mm. in my well, face. Well, they do tell you that if you have to sneeze, look up at a light kind of thing. Right, and I, I have to look at a light in order to do it. Because otherwise, I'm relying on the sunlight, which this is totally sunlight-based right now, and the sun looks a lot yeah, better than really normal, nice um, right normal lights do, tr normal ones. But anyway... We have an exciting box. Really excited to open this up because this is another um, box that came in from Lura. Really excited to open these because they always take Grump Town, which we've been living in Grump Town right now, the land of the Grump, and they make things uh, more fun and exciting. So um, I always like opening these uh, boxes like this up blind and I'll just pull something out and I hand it to Kim. Kim, here you go. Oh, no. Oh, hey! That's not a Pokemon. <laughs> it's, my, it's my favorite Pokemon, Blue Eyes White Dragon. He, he is actually a blue eyes. What is this, Kim? You, she this she knows Agumon? a lot more. You know Agumon. No, no, no. I mean, like, physically. Well. I know I it's. Don't know. I know it is a I don't Digimon. Know it I know is. it's Agumon. That's cool, though. He's pretty big. He's got, like, an extra little stand thing here. What's that? I don't know. So this says, um. Oh, it just has a trademark on the back. It actually doesn't say anything other than that. What is it? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Was it, like, a lid? Kim's or actually. Something? Oh, maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because look, look, it's a lid. Oh, that's that a straw hole. 
Oh, cool! That's so, so that's it, that's really cool, isn't it? That's cool. Yeah. That is really cool. I love those little things because you can only get them on certain things, and yeah. most people throw them away. So. Yeah, that and um, Digimon. I was never really into Digimon back in the day. There was like, okay, in 1996 to 1998, the war was on between Pokemon <laughs> and Digimon. We all know who won that, but. The thing is, I was always on the Pokemon side. I morphed um, into both. So Kim, whatever. Kim just loved both. It, where my school was, it was a war. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and I guess luckily I was on the winning side, but it doesn't matter because my entire collection was thrown away anyway by Banks. What's wrong with loving both? I don't because this is Charmander. <laughs> there's like <laughs> there's a bunch that are like obvious rips, but Kim's actually got a, like a lot of Digimon stuff. I do. And um. We might eventually, when Pokemon collections ends, <laughs> <laughs> it might eventually start like other collections. Like we might do a Digimon video, uh, Gundam, Gundam. Get be fun. I'm not sure what you guys want to see. So if you want to see like Marvel other collectible stuff like that, if you're interested in all, it's just let us know. Collection. <laughs> no, no, that's something that like I'm considering even throwing out. Uh, hey, here's a game case. People okay. send me stuff all the time with different games inside. It's a game case. <laughs> Okay. Okay. You know, actually, um, what I do with some of these is if you take the uh, this paper out, because people have sent me games with no cases, and for my collection on the wall, I just have to like lay them down. You know what I mean? Like next to it, which stinks. I actually, I've actually got some of them sitting right here, of like these junky extra papers. I want to print these, slide them into cases that I don't have a game for. And then, you know, I get to show off, like, you know, Super Smash Brothers. You know, like, someone sent me, like, a Super Smash Brothers 3DS game, but I don't have a case for it, so it doesn't get to, like, sit nicely on the shelf, you know? <laughs> it looks cool that way. I don't have an Ultra game, but, um, or, actually, no, this is an Ultra. This is just Sun. Yeah. No, I don't have Sun, but still, like, this would be one that I could, like, you know, switch the paper out, maybe. I don't know. But uh, I don't even, since I don't even have Sun, I'm gonna save the paper. You're going on a little long about the box. I am. I'm sorry. I should stop doing what that. What else is in here? There's another one. Oh. For uh, Moon, box. actually, since I do have the one for Moon, it'd be better to switch this one because 3DS case sizes are different from the. Uh... Yeah, I don't like 3DS case sizes. Really, I kind of like it thinner. I kind of like it thinner. Oh, another box, <laughs> <laughs> and now it'll look like I actually own an Ultra game. <laughs> As people get really excited that uh, they're, I'm just making it absolutely sure. People get really excited that they're like, "Hey, when are you gonna shiny out with the Ultra games?" There's like, no letters hiding. I can't, I can't afford the Ultra games. Yeah, just in case there's like letters. Well, then you don't really want to play the Ultra games. No, I mean, I kind of do, because, like, sh shiny hunting-wise, they're perfect, you know? Oh, all four of them. Oh. That's pretty cool, just for a collection alone. I probably don't even want to switch them out. If any, I might mess with the moon one, like I mentioned before. That's pretty cool. I didn't even see, like, the backs of these or anything, just to open up any letters or anything like that. There we go. Always just double check. Always double check it. I mean, it wouldn't be terrible if, like, the video ended and that had a game in it and, like, a package or some little note inside it. Yeah. I'd have felt terrible. You're looking for a note. That's what I'd have felt terrible. Um, uh, yay! Here we go. Here we Here's go. a note with a puppy. It says Alex and Kim. Oh, so good okay, thing you uh, you did show up on here. Oh, it's got and another it match, puppy. It's got matching. Look, it's got matching it's got puppy. puppy. It's a matching puppy. <laughs> like a black lab is a puppy. <laughs> black okay. labs are puppies. Okay. Here, would you like to read this? Yeah. No. Can you read? All right, I'll read. I can't. She can't read. Dear Alex <laughs> and Kim. I found these and thought of you. If I uh, find my 6th gen cases, I will send them your way too. Enjoy. Love, Laura. Thank you. It's so cool. Like I said, like I love collecting this stuff and putting it on the wall. Because it feels wrong when I've got like, you know, these bother me if you're in the Americas. You have like EB uh, games or a GameStop around you. These look so terrible. This is, I have like I don't a, even know where they come from. I don't know. They just print these. I've got like, you know, cool games that I want to show and see on my wall and um, you can't do it. an entire instruction booklet too because you know those don't come with games anymore. I know. I, I miss instruction booklets. So um, anyway, oh, there's oh, also wait. a little Ziploc bag. Let's not go a little too early here. Um, oh, is this codes for um, some of the events? A lot of the events nowadays are just for the Ultra Games exclusively and uh -huh. I can't do them. Really? I thought they would have done yeah. it for like Wars. Because no. for the longest time they were doing Sun and Moon Oh, Wars is Horus. too old now. For the longest time, though, they were doing that with Sonic. Yeah, they they were, because those came out at the same time, but unfortunately not anymore. Um, there's a little coin here that I'm about to lose. Here you go, Kim. Ooh, hey, you might not have that. <laughs> Can you show them? Uh, it's the Tomy Flareon coin. A little construction work. paper. Not uh, no, not construction. Cardboard, whatever. Cardboard. They came with the Tomies. Yeah, with the Tomy. I don't think you have a Flareon. I don't have a Flareon. 
We have the Tomy Flareon though, right? The actual Tomy? No. The, no, we don't? No. Is that the... See, I had one, and she has, like, the opposite Tomies that I used to have, so I'm I never sure know. I'm sure we just have a Flareon and Jolteon. Yeah. This... Or, no, I'm sorry. Vaporeon and Jolteon. Mm. This is the event that made me upset that I didn't have an Ultra game. Right here. They gave out... Shiny! A, a shiny, uh... How do you even say this thing's name? Poipole. Po purple. Purple. <laughs> His name... Actually, he's normally purple. So his shiny, purple. his shiny's really nice. It's very different. I like this. Poiple. Poiple. It's poiple. What color? It's poiple. But, um, poiple, if, is that's really, <laughs> is that how you say it? I don't know, but he's like a baby Ultra Beast. And he was a new one, and I was so bummed, because you actually, he's, poiple. he's not even programmed to be in Sun or Moon, which is why he oh. would have to, yeah, you have to do it with the Ultra games. That's a shame. Also, um, this is pretty neat. This is another event that they were doing, or more art on this side. Yeah, have a Groudon and Kyogre. Actually, I could have done this one. If it's still going on, I might be able to. But I don't it's, think so. I think it's just a normal Groudon Kyogre, though. We keep, we collect the papers anyway. It doesn't matter. That's why we want the papers. <laughs> right, and then on the other oh. side here, yeah, there's something else. There's just a few that she had here. Oh, cool, more Hoenn ones. Um, a Latios Latios. Another one that I have bypassed. If they're normal and they're not shiny, and I, I don't have room in my box anymore. <laughs> even Poke even Bank, Pokemon Go even, is done. Now, oh my goodness! You have no goodness. room anywhere. Since Sinnoh just came out, like a yesterday, I think, in Pokemon Go, as we're filming this, I don't know when you're seeing this, but um, they didn't increase your box count, and <laughs> I have no room. I don't know why you have this. Problem. It's not fair. I have no room in Pokemon Go. I have so many. I have no many. idea why you have that problem. I don't, how do you not have that problem? I just delete things where I'm like, why am I keeping this Bioplume? I don't know. Garbage. Done. I don't know. But I'm the same way in real life, though. If I see something I'm not using, I throw it out. Well, I yeah. I mean, her parents were hoarders, so she was like the one cleaning everything up. And uh, I If I don't guess... use it or see it, it goes. It's gone. I, I always like building things and like crafting my way to figure out how to make stuff so I will keep strange things yeah, for a I long time. Yeah, I stopped doing that when my mom and dad were doing that and I'm yeah. like, they're not using it, just get rid of it. The, though, one thing, one random thing I saved I'm thinking I'm gonna be able to finally use. the That metal pole. It's like 10 feet. I this metal <laughs> in pole. Closet. It's in my closet, I have it. And, no, that, that yellow closet. I got it back in there. I got it. I've saved that thing for like 10 years. I, the thing is, I, he had to move over here, and I'm telling him, throw this stuff out, you're moving. But <laughs> I found you can like make this really... It's, on the one magical day in the future, that probably won't happen when we have money to spend, we're going to be able to like make um, really nice cosplay stuff because I just want to like work. I just like working on stuff. It's why I liked making the Metal Gear models. You know, because you know, the great paint, part, shiny painting the TFG. If you're making what you're gonna say is the armor sets and stuff like that, Monster Hunter armor sets. Doesn't matter how old you are, just as long as it fits. Yeah, as long as it fits, whatever. <laughs> um, but uh, I'm just saying, the you giant say future, pole. I say like sixty. Yeah, but still, that pole is like the perfect. <laughs> Skeleton base of a great sword. It's Perfect. Though. It's gonna make your sword heavy. Yeah, but the rest of it's gonna be foam. You know, it's, it's gonna, gonna be fine. Heavy. That's not that heavy of a pole. And besides, I can cut some of it off if I need to. But anyway, still, I was say I saved some random piece of junk, and now you all know about it. I save fabric, I guess, because I'm like, well, I never know when I'll need that little bit. I guess, yeah. And uh, some of it's coming handy, like uh, for the Halloween party. Ah, oh, we were gonna film Mario Party episodes for you guys. For Kim's Halloween party where we were dressed up, I had, uh, uh, she made me a sort of a Link outfit. We went to, like, a Goodwill and spent a whole four dollars, which was too much, on a, a green sweater that Kim kind of, like, fixed up the sleeves and, and the, the collar bit and the sides to make it look like Link's green tunic. Um, and I wore that with, like, belts that I strapped over myself and my old hat that I wore on the... Uh, series which Kim oh, wait, also that, made years ago. The hat and the shirt color do not match. They're not the same color. <laughs> they're close. But they're, not the they're not close. One is very sad. You would look, okay, you would hold them both up. Yes, they're green. <laughs> That's where it ends. Um, Kim's, however, you your greens were all matching. She made a whole Yoshi outfit theme and it looked really cool. We're I'm off for Halloween, it. so I'm gonna be Yoshi again. Maybe we'll get to make like a Halloween video. Maybe uh, we can't do a Dino Ween again because, uh, Matt, 
today, actually, is finally getting finally surgery. Getting surgery. So, for those of you who are updating on wondering what was happening with Matt, uh, if you know Matt uh, from mostly most of my Monster Hunter playthroughs, he also played uh, Time Splitters 3 and uh, Persona with me. And he's really been about four and a half months in misery, not able to get his surgery done for his knee because of workers' comp legal problems with the government. So he's now finally able to get his surgery, and I don't think by Halloween he's going to be able to do anything, so there goes that. But hopefully uh, he will be back with me doing some more Monster Hunter or something later. Though um, he doesn't have a Nintendo Switch, so I don't think I'll even be able to play mm, Generations, Generations Ultimate with him. Um, playing PlayStation 4 online is really expensive, and right now we're freezing. If we need extra money, it's going to a furnace. <laughs> we cannot afford to play that online either. Um, so I really don't know what to do uh, in terms of that. Because uh, he does have World on the PS4, but that's about you it. You should so. tell them what you've been able to play thanks to Matt, though. I have been able to play, not with you guys, though. Because uh, I was kind of really, really intimidated by the uh, online copyright. Uh, but I played um, Marvel's Disney's Stanley's Steve Ditko Spider-Man <laughs> on uh, PlayStation 4. <laughs> And that game's phenomenal. I was really blown away by how good that was. I mean, some parts Matt, of it are really repetitive, and, you know, it has its flaws, but... I mean, what Matt lent it to me, and I was playing it, I was like, wow, it's surprisingly good. Yeah, the only things that, like, aren't really great are trying to play bases and stuff stealthy, because inevitably the game will break it. Um, and there's only, like, two stealthy ways to take people down, mm -hmm. which isn't really fun. Um, so if it's if it's coming from like the Rockstar Batman Arkham theme, it's not really working. But yeah, I'm not really sure. But it's still like story wise, it was like a, story it was like was a great. it was like a movie. It was really good. Um, holy cow! Just swinging around New York is fun enough. You know that. Uh, yeah, really. It's a lot of fun. So um, highly recommend that game. I might make it like a let's be honest video on that or something. I don't know if you guys would want to hear about that or if like newer games. Yeah, would be I mean more it's a newer game. You at least relevant. Have a little bit of your um, opinion. Yeah, and like a let's be honest. Normally that series is me talking about unpopular game opinions and trying to justify them. Um, so that's my goal. Uh, <laughs> in that one, I don't know what I'd be saying because it's actually a very good game. Though there are issues. With there it. are issues. Um, it's when people come out and say that a game is perfect. I'm like. I'm gonna lay it on you now. There, I have yet to come across the perfect game. Even my favorite game Metal ever Gear. has so many problems <laughs> in it. <laughs> but it's better than its remake, Twin Snakes. Yes. Twin Snakes. Mm -mm, that, just, mm -mm. That's terrifying. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I've seen some of those cutscenes. Oof. Watch them all online. <laughs> I suffered through it. Oof. Painful. Uh, but anyway, this is going long. I, I'm really excited. Thank you so much, Laura, for sending us this stuff. I'm really excited to get something in because, like I said, with non-stop bad stuff happening to us and like the no funds and everything's just a spiral into horrible horribleness um it's really exciting to see that you know there's people out there who are like watching us the internet people. internet people and and they want to cheer us up just and, and to know you know at too expense of their own they will like do stuff like this and that's really nice so, it's so nice. yeah so thank you guys so much for doing that stuff to us it, we really do appreciate it it's really exciting to get this stuff in it lifts our spirits up Makes me want to uh, record, record more videos, <laughs> and because I, I haven't gotten to do that in a long enough time too, I haven't gotten to uh, release my complete idiot lately. So um, that yeah, you really need it sometimes. It, it fills up inside it, it and builds up, and, and the worst part when it comes out is when you lay down for bed at night. That's when it comes out, and I'm like. He just starts talking about things to me, like in waves. I'm like trying to sleep here, but yeah, yeah whatever. Like, oh, lollipops, nutcrackers! I love cactuses on the moon! And Kim's like, you need to stop. Go to bed. And I'll be like, well, Amor, I've realized it's just for withdrawals from him, not recording. So. Right, that's all it is. So um, <laughs> I need to get back into doing that. I think you got some of it out while you're playing Spider Man, but I not should, too much. A little bit. Because I relate to Peter Parker. I banter with and quit my way through people who I, I am fighting. Sometimes you'll say things and then he'll say it right after. That's weird. Not knowing it's, happened. it's happened. It's happened. It's happened. I should shiny hunt an Agumon. Can we do that? We shiny hunt Agumon next time? Let's do that. We got to shiny hunt an Agumon in an upcoming video. But anyway, I swear that is all the time we have for now. Thank you, uh, Laura and Stephanie and Cooper and everybody else out there who's. I know we have a few other Q Charm games who are that are on their way to us right now. I don't think so. We do. Some people have paid. They haven't arrived yet. Okay. I know. I know that's I the don't case. Think so, so but um, okay. 
for anybody else we are still obviously doing pokemon q charm games if you want to get those done also really big news i don't know why uh big news what's big news uh, during the month of october if you follow me on twitter you have a chance of getting a pokemon q charm game uh, for free which was probably that. the worst month ever for us to offer to do that because we have no money so uh shipping that's going to be fun if the winner's like you know in canada or australia so we'll see how that goes <laughs> it's only like 15 <laughs> Yeah, I know. That's like our dinner. <laughs> but anyway, we just won't eat that day. <laughs> Have fun winning. Don't lie to them. I'm not. It's not no, that it's bad. not that bad. But um, for the record, because a lot of people I have heard haven't even tried entering because they think they don't even have a chance. Um, I've checked the total amount of people who are in the running to win it. You've got a good chance still. There's surprisingly a lot of people who don't think it's worth trying, and because of that, they don't. I don't know because they think everyone else is doing it, right? And there's They're no not. Way. No, I'm kidding. No, but, <laughs> no there's. A, I mean, yeah, there's a fair amount of people in there, but you got you still have a good chance of getting a free Pokemon Q Charm game. So, just saying, follow me on it's Twitter. It's not costing you anything. To at Hamster Bomb Alex, really good chance of winning. Let other people know you got. If you tell your friends and stuff, you have a better chance of them getting a copy. And then you have, you you got somebody who's got a way to give you some you know free easy shiny. So there's that. But either way, that is all the time we have for now, I swear. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing and helping us, in that, helping us out and sharing us up and stuff like this. So, uh, we keep going because of you guys. He is pooping his diarrhea green mud. Bye! <laughs> bye bye. Agumon Diarrhea.